Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my own thumbnails. Now before we start, I want to tell you what I do use in this video. I use Photopia to make it. I use a few of the websites for the text, although in this video I made the text with the app that I use, Photopia. Also, I do add GFXs to my thumbnails, so if you want to know how to make a GFX for your thumbnails, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And I'm going to hand over to past okay so guys the first thing i actually do to make in the thumbnail is um i make a gfx i already have made one for today's video's thumbnail let me actually show you i think it's this one let's just wait for it to load and you make them in blender if you do want to know how to make them i do have a tutorial i'll leave it in the description it's not that one it's this one I'll leave it in the description on how to make these, there's a link, I have a video on it, um, how to make GFXs, links in the description. But after I've got a GFX, I actually paste it into Discord, so that I can copy it, instead of just going through all that hassle getting it from the file. So let me actually paste that one into Discord. If you don't have Discord, you can use anything else. But once I've done that, I just copy it from Discord. I head on over to Photopia because that's what I normally use. I do have some other apps though, but I like using this. And you change the file size, not the file size, the size to 1280 by 720. And then I find a background. Um, I'm actually gonna put the um, square yeah look, squares gaming gaming background there we go hmm and then i just choose one and it looks really cool um which one am i gonna do i think i'm gonna go ahead and do this one so then oh actually that's a decent one, we're doing this one. And then I just paste it on. And sometimes it just puts it to the right size, but sometimes you have to resize it, which is totally fine. There we go. And then you get your GFX, copy image, paste it on. And you may realize that sometimes it's a bit too dark. So what, you, what I do is, I right click, click blending options, outer glow, change that to white, change that to full, spread to full, and there we go, we have an outline. But I also go to color overlay, change it to white, and then turn that down. And it makes them look a bit brighter. Now the next thing I do is actually get some text. Um, I don't really get it from the app i actually use um this other website but i am gonna try use the app today i just want to have a go at it so here is how you make the good text okay right let's see how i that looks like a one how i make my thumb my up oh, thumbnails and it's actually a bit too big so i'm just gonna resize that oh still a bit too big okay that's good and then we just move the gfx over a bit okay and now I put an outer glow on the text, color overlay, change it to, you know what, let's have a, um, let's have a white today, and then the outer glow, I might change it to, ooh, that looks good. Now, I actually want to change the outer glow color. Um, yeah, that looks good. 
so there is the text um if you want to know how to make the better text uh, i actually go over to this website let me find it in my history because that's where i always go to it from my history right here there it is i'll leave the link to it in the description then i just choose whatever text i want i normally use smurfs not that one which one is it this one and then how how i make my thumbnails change the background to transparent i actually need to move that up a bit that should be good yeah i need it all in line How I make my thumbnails. Okay, that's good. Background's transparent. I go next. I download it. Paste it into Discord. Copy it from Discord. Paste it on there. And... I just resize it to make it look good. That doesn't look that good. Okay, that's good. And then I just go to blending options and sometimes I put an outer glow on it, sometimes I don't. Depends. And I really don't know why it's not putting a full one on, even though I asked it to. Oh yeah, you have to change the gradient, I'm pretty sure. How I make my thumbnails. And I'm not going to use this text. I'm going to use this one. Just because I don't normally use the in-app text. So, that's how I make my thumbnails. Sometimes I put a border around it with shapes. You have to be good at drawing these things though, otherwise they're not gonna look equal. Color overlay, change it to white. That's not the same size. Um, that's the same size. Um, and there we go, there's our border. Then you just go to blending options and change it all there we go and there we go so there is your outline um i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you did and i'll see you guys in the next video